recent interviews, Daniel Craig has hinted Spectre would be his last film playing James Bond. Actors generally play the role in four films, and this will be his fourth. I bet $100,000 this will be his last film. Oh, I'm sorry, what was the bet? 100000 Yeah, I mean, you told Time Out London, quote, I'd rather break this glass and slash my wrist. Deal, man. And if Craig leaves, we'll be the next James Bond. Hugh Jackman admitted he'd been approached for the role. I sort of have, not now, but about 10 years ago, or eight years ago, just before Daniel took over. Um, at the time, I was just about to do X-Men 2, and I was like, ah, oh, I don't think it's the right time. And So now, if Daniel, Daniel's a mate of mine, who's brilliant, uh, if he, I'd, I'd seriously consider it. Now, you might be saying, but he's Australian. But so was George Lazenby, who played Bond after Sean Connery initially left the franchise. Bond producer Albert R. Broccoli said only actors within the British Commonwealth could play 007. Australia is within the Commonwealth. It should be pointed out, though, Pierce Brosnan is from the Republic of Ireland, which is not a part of the Commonwealth. The world is not enough. If the Broccoli family is lenient on the Commonwealth thing, Irish-German actor Michael Fassbender could be a perfect fit. He's 38, the average age of actors first playing Bond, and stands at six feet tall, just a hair shorter than the average Bond height of 6'1". And we already know he can handle playing a charming yet threatening spy. Well, if this is it, old boy, I hope you don't mind if I go out speaking to Kings. When Fazbender was asked back in 2011 how he felt about putting on the tux, he only said, we'll see what happens. But with Fazbender starring in franchises like X-Men and Alien, he may not be looking for another. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. If you're a betting man, you might want to put your money on English actor Tom Hardy. Online bookmaker Boyle Sports says the odds of the 37-year-old winning the role is 4-1, to one, up from 6-1 to one, with no signs of slowing. Like Craig, Hardy is gritty, charismatic, mysterious, playful, and we already know he can handle the action sequences. However, he's significantly shorter than the average Bond. But hey. He's interested. I think, I think any, any, anybody would consider doing Bond, wouldn't they? Look, I've been down this road before. Another current favorite for Bond is Damien Lewis. At 44, he'd be the second oldest actor to be cast as 007 behind Roger Moore, and also the first Ginger. But keep in mind, Daniel Craig was the first blonde Bond. Several bookmakers list the 6'1 British actor at the top of their polls, mainly because he's akin to the traditional looks can kill Bond. You must be joking. Don't you believe in evil? I have to. I've seen it. Perhaps the most controversial of all the potential Bonds is Idris Elba. A few years ago, Daniel Craig mentioned Elba would be the perfect Bond, and Pierce Brosnan seconded that notion. However, some people on the internet went crazy after a leaked Sony email revealed former co-chairman Amy Pascal favored Elba as the next Bond. The angered fans claimed James Bond is white and must always be cast white. But what if he doesn't have to be? Seriously, we already know that names like M and Q are given to those in that position. What if the name James Bond worked the same way? What if James Bond and 007 are just code names? There's evidence people use in order to try to prove the theory right or wrong, but my point is this. If we can suspend belief and be okay with a spy who's under 50 years old, yet has been a spy since the Cold War, and we're okay with his height changing and his hair color changing, I have faith we could handle a black James Bond, especially one that fits every other specification. Idris Elba is 6'3", he's English, 43 is the right age, and he's charismatic yet mysterious. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Yeah. I think Idris Elba should be the next James Bond. <laughs>